Huh. What did this signing tell you? Skip, this was this signing told me that, <clears throat> as Jerry mentioned last week, and we kind of had an indication of who he was talking about, Skip, I believe this deal has been in the work for a couple of weeks now. This just all of a sudden just didn't pop up. But, Skip, I believe Jalen Smith was the most eager to get a deal done, so this was the easiest of the deals to get done because he gave them a substantial hometown discount, and he talked about it in his press conference that Jerry was willing to roll the dice, take a chance when there's a chance. He was never going to play a football game again, and Jerry still tied up $4.5 million in him. So he felt that he needed to repay Jerry for his confidence, him, his belief in him that, you know what, son, you might not play again. But if you do, we want to help you get back because we believe, Skip, he's going to be a top five pick. Mm -hmm. He was special. And you, you, you see what was going on in his head. And this is why you saw a lot of guys, Skip, started skipping the bowl game. Yep. They're like, man, I'm risking $20, $30 million out here for That's what? Yeah. For yep. a jersey with a patch on it that says Orange Bowl or Fiesta mm -hmm. Bowl? Yep. But for me, Skip, this, is a team, this deal is very team friendly. He had one more year left on his deal. And yep. they, add, you know, they extend, uh, gave him an extension. He got good money. He got uh, uh, the security that he wanted. But this, team is this deal is really team-friendly, Skip, because he got, what, 30 for 34 and a half guaranteed. So you prorate a lot of you. You probably got $20 million at the time of signing. You prorate that out. But this is how this deal was easy to do because Jalen was eager to do the deal. But the difference between Jalen's deal and these other three, they're not going to be as team-friendly because to go in radius. Dak saw Aaron Rodgers get $79 million at the time of signing. He saw Russell Wilson get $70 million at the time of signing. Mm -hmm. I think Carson Wentz is somewhere around between 64 and 66. He sees this. That's the number. He's looking to get more than Jalen Ramsey total contract mm -hmm. at the time of signing. Mm -hmm. Well, Amari Cooper said, well, the going rate, Odell got 41. That was two years ago. So that's what I'm looking at right there. Zeke says, hold on, bro. <laughs> Yo, mm -hmm. old Zeke Elliott. You got to eat, Skip. They say, oh, Skip, he say he's looking good, too. Mm. He was supposed to call me last night, but, you know, I had some arrangements I had to take care of, and I mm. missed it. But anyway, as I was Did saying. Did he try to call that, you? That, 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 I ain't telling you nothing. You don't miss I, that call. I, I ain't you telling you nothing, it. Skip. I believe mm. you in suspense. Mm. But I just, Skip, where they getting all this money from? Mm. Where are they getting they, all they this money? They ain't got no money. They, they got, got money. oodles of <laughs> money. How they get oodles yeah. of money? Oh, you told me all the time, this is not like baseball, mm. and you can just spend, you have a cap. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, how you gonna get Dak gonna want 70 to 80 million guaranteed at the top at, when he signed? Uh, Dak, not Dak, Zeke's gonna probably mm -hmm. want somewhere between 35 and 40. Mm -hmm. Amari's gonna want somewhere between 35 and 55. Yep, it's Where there. Get it's there. Where is that? Pie got a little smaller, but just a little smaller. But Dak said, you know what? I'm mm -hmm. glad the pie got smaller. Yep. Who want pie? I eat cake mm -hmm. and I want a big old chunk of cake. Mm -hmm. I don't want pie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love so it. What, what are you laughing at? I love it. Because some Skip, I just tell you this here. Somebody's not going to get done this year. Mm. I don't know who it is. Amari can be patient because Amari's playing on that fifth-year option, which is about $14 million. Sure. Plus, he was a first-round draft pick. He good. Mm -hmm. Dak said, hold on, bro. This is my first year ever oh, making a million dollars plus in salary. Mm. I need some cake. And mm. Zeke says, you know, I play the most dangerous position in the NFL, which is running back, and I have the shortest shelf life. I need to eat. Mm. You know, this whole development continues to amuse me because the haters are hating led by the, the number one hater across from me because they think they got the Cowboys backed into a corner. We do. They think Jerry is up against the cap. And Jerry showed you once again yesterday when it comes to money, Jerry's got genius. This was a brilliant first move. I didn't see this one coming. I was shocked. But this was just the first domino, and now the next three bigger dominoes, even bigger ones, will fall, fall, and fall. It will be Dak first. It will be Zeke right at the deadline for game one. Mm -mm. And it will be Amari during the football season because, as you said, he is cool. He's getting 13.9 this year, and he's just fine. He's back in football heaven after escaping John Gruden hell from last year. <laughs> so he will wait patiently somewhere during the season he will get his big piece of this new pie mm -hmm. because the pie is just going to keep getting bigger and bigger, as you know. Mm -hmm. So the first domino was the most significant domino because Jerry did send a message to the other three even bigger dominoes. Hey, look what just happened here. 
I just took a team leader because Jalen Smith is highly respected. Maybe not Dak respected, but on the defense, he is, dare I say, I'm going to say he's the most respected. I know Sean Lee's the veteran, but but I think Jalen has preempted him as the leader of that defense Mm -hmm. just because he's a better player and he's healthier, obviously, than than Sean is. And Jerry knows that Jalen paid a big price to get to where he is Mm because he had to work his tail Mm -hmm. off to get that knee back right to become a potential perennial pro ball linebacker, yep. right? Yeah. You saw it last year, mm-hmm. all over the field, sideline to sideline. He is sudden. And there's an element of ego going on here because Jerry also wanted to say yesterday, look at me, look at us, look what we did. We took the plunge on this kid when nobody else would. We took him in the second round and we risked $4.5 million on virtually nothing. And look what came out of it for us. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to pay him back for what he did for us. And yet, what is the message? You hit it. This is shockingly team friendly. <laughs> I, I was stunned by it because... Again, the base going into next year is a grand total of $835,000. So Jalen was co- like, give me my long term right. mm-hmm. at the expense of my short term. Right. So he didn't push for short term. And the average new money in this deal per year is only $12.75 million. That makes him fifth among, among linebackers right, right now. now. So in watch two what, years. Hey, what, how about in one year? Maybe at the end of this football season, you will be sitting over there saying, what was Jalen Smith thinking? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now, he did get a big chunk of guaranteed, and he got a big chunk up front, but it will be pro-rated. So it is ultimately team-friendly, and I think only a small sliver of pie got taken out of the bigger pie. Right. Because let's just say for the sake of argument, Skip, he's got $34, $35 million guaranteed. They write him a check for $20 million. Well, you prorate that over the life of the contract, so you got basically six years. So he's like Mm 3.5. So his, his... Cap number next year probably going to be like $4 million, a little mm-hmm. over $4 million, yep. which is nothing. That was the thing. And that's what he was willing to do, Skip, because he looked at it like, I've been down this road before where I had an injury and I didn't know if I was going to play again. Let me take this now so if something unforeseen do happen, mm-hmm. I'm protected on the back end. But he gave up a lot of real estate, Skip. He, he boxed himself into a corner. In two years from that, now Skip, maybe not next year, but two years from now, he's gonna look back like, "What the hell was I thinking?" Okay. Because if he's, Skip, if he's, if if he's what you now, he happens to be in the NFC. Now the two best middle linebackers in the NFL are in the NFC: Keekly and Bobby Wagner. Okay. So, but he's he's coming. He's young, he he's younger than both of them, and he's gonna look back, Skip. And you know this is gonna happen. He's gonna look back and like, Jerry, y'all, I need to see y'all again, bro. Hmm. Jerry just took somebody to the cleaners. <laughs> oh, right? you like you like he did. I, I don't. What do I keep telling you about Jerry Jones? Again, on football decision making, on GM moves, not the biggest fan. But when it comes to salary cap, when it comes to negotiating, when it comes to the psychological warfare of winning negotiations, this is Jerry's Super Bowl, and he just won the first quarter of the Super Bowl. You, this this was very Patriots esque. This is what they do. Huh. They remember, Skip, remember they got Gronk on that deal? They're like, look at the money they gave Gronk. And then two years, like, mm. man, Gronk making peanuts. Mm. <laughs> I, mm. Skip, look. But he, I mean, like I said, when you, when you, Skip, when you get two sides that are motivated, when Jay, when Jalen Smith is motivated to get a deal done, the Cowboys are motivated to do a deal, mm. you can come together fairly quickly. Now, on the other side, Skip, it seems like Jerry is more motivated than these guys for the simple fact they're not willing to give him the hometown discount because Jalen sat on the field in in his last game of college and he didn't know if he was going to play again. Dag, like, I ain't missed a game. Zeke's like, I hadn't missed a game due to injury. And Amari says, I've only missed three games. So I I don't have the worries that I'm going to be hurt long-term that's going to greatly decrease my value of getting a long-term deal that's more... Mm -hmm individual friendly Mm -hmm. as opposed to team friendly. That is correct. So, the Jerry Jones I know so well, I can tell you yesterday, he was in a foul and angry mood. Mm. And he was most angry at the shot that Rocky Arsenal, Zeke's agent, took back at him about how disrespectful his Zeke comment was. And we will discuss that in just a few minutes. We will. But that's, that's what set him off. And he continued to be foul and angry in all of his responses to the media 
post announcing the Jalen Smith, yeah. as he, Stephen, his son called it a happy moment. Yeah. And he said, now we need a happy moment for Dak and a happy moment for Zeke and a happy moment for Amari. Right. But Jerry was in full-on bad cop mode yesterday <laughs> while son Steven was playing good cop. Mm -hmm. Son Steven said only very positive things about, w we obviously have a feel for how this is going to play out, and we are very optimistic we will get all three of the other deals done in short order. He just went on and on. He said, we want them to be Cowboys. They want to be Cowboys. We will get them done. He said, obviously, the pie is a little smaller but Jerry said the pie got a lot smaller. Yeah. And Jerry, we just saw the you saw what he yeah. said. He was angry about the team takes precedent okay, at a point and, and, and over the opinion or the demand of the individual. Yeah. Yeah. So he's saying, look what Jalen did. Yeah, Jaylen. He sacrificed for the team yeah, because he's a team leader. Mm -hmm. Now it's up to the bigger pieces of the pie to take a little bit of a cowboy discount. What's That's what he's saying. What's good to Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.